In this video, I'm going to talk about a simple linear regression model where the relationship between two variables will be explored. We are trying to explore how variable y is affected by variable x. So the relationship we are trying to show is how x variable is affecting another variable y. An example could be how the wage level is affected by the education level of a person. In this section of the course, we are going to explore simple linear regression models. Simple means we are exploring only the relationship between two variables and we are interested in knowing how a particular variable x is affecting or explaining another variable y. The idea here is to use the information contained in this variable x to predict uh, this variable y. Uh, this variable y it is called a dependent variable, explained variable, a response variable, a predicted variable, a regression. This variable x on the other hand uh, it is called an explanatory variable, an independent variable, a control variable, a predictor or a regressor. It's called a predictor because it is predicting this education variable, it is predicting the wage of a person. And this is essentially what we are interested in knowing. So in this chapter, we're gonna talk about only two variables and we're gonna assume that those two variables are linearly related to each other. Now, if we are interested in knowing how a particular variable y, it is determined by another variable x. And essentially, we wanna know how this variable x, it causes variable y. In this example, how education causes wage of a person. But there are three issues exploring the relationship between these two variables. Number one, how do we allow for other factors to be included in the model? For example, it's not the education of the person that alone determines the wage of a person. There may be a lot of other factors, those may be determining the wage of a person. So how do we allow those factors to be included in the model. The next issue is what is the functional form of the relationship between X and Y? We are going to start with a, a simple case and then we're going to extend uh, this model to include uh, non-linearities of X variables. And the third issue is how can we determine or capture the k paribus relationship between X and Y? How can we say that holding all other factors constant if education increases by one year, what will be the impact on the wage of that person? For example, if there are two identical individuals, but one has one year extra education as compared with the other, what will be the difference in their wage level? So these are the three issues that we want to determine in a simple linear regression modeling framework. The first issue is how can we include other factors in the model? This issue is uh, a simple we include an error term in the model so this term is called error term so what this error term capture is whatever is left over that is whatever is not explained by the education it will be captured by this error term so we can say education uh, determines wage of a person and anything else which is not captured by education it will be captured by this error term u that's how we tackle the first issue the next issue is, what is the functional form between y and x? The way I wrote this equation, there is linearity between education and wage, and also between y and x, which means no matter at what level we are measuring the effect of x on y, it's gonna be the same at all the levels. So this is the assumption of linearity, or in other words, it's the functional form that we are describing here. And if we assume the same type of functional form here, we, what we are saying is if education increases by one unit, no matter what the initial level of education is, it's going to increase the wage of a person the same way. That is, moving from five years of education to six years of education, an increase of one year of education, it's going to have the same impact on wages as moving from 14 years of education to 15 years of education. So this is what we are assuming here and obviously later on we can explore that we can relax this assumption and we can explore other functional forms uh, in the model. And the third issue of Catrus Paribus, it's not easier to deal with. For Catrus Paribus relationship, we need two assumptions. The first one is that the expected value of this error term 
it is equal to zero. That is sometimes we may be over guessing, sometimes we may be under guessing. But on average, our guess is all right. I'm going to explain it to you using a graphical representation in the next video. And the next uh, assumption that we're going to make is that the expected value of uh, u depending on x is zero. So if we have these two assumptions met, then we can say that this variable is causing another variable y. So we're going to start with very, very simple. We're going to assume that both of these assumptions are met and then we're going to apply simple linear regression models. So what this relationship or this equation is telling us is that the average value of the unobservable is the same across all slices of the population determined by the value of x. And it is common average which is necessarily equal to the average of u over the entire population. In our wage education example, uh, we said that education determines wages. Anything which is not captured by education, we know that it's, it will be captured by this term u. So say uh, this is ability, ability of a person. And uh, obviously it is very hard to measure ability of a person. Ability of a person, it is captured by this term u. What we are assuming here is that the ability of a person which has eight years of education, it is exactly the same as the ability of a person with, with the 16 years of education. If we think about it, the average ability increases with the years of education. Then this assumption is not met. That is on average, people with more ability, they choose to become more educated and uh, which means uh, this term, it is correlated with this term. The more able you are, the more education you will get, the higher will be your wages. So it seems like there will be a kind of link between this term U and education. So this assumption is false in that case. Our goal is to determine the causal relationship between X and Y. We're going to explore what effect X has on Y. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the graphical representation of the simple linear regression model. And I'm going to explain what these uh, two parameters are representing. Okay, see you in the next video.